So I think in terms of our ideal client, I just wanted to share uh, some of my thoughts on, on the types of clients that, that we'd be looking for at the moment. Um, I, guess, I guess historically, um, we you know, we have been and we are a general practice. Um, so we don't restrict in terms of the types of clients that we take on. I mean, we're registered auditors, for example. So there's a real wide range of the types of clients um, that we do have. But if I, if I was to pinpoint um, particular groups or types, it would be as follows. So primarily it would be, um, you know, individuals or companies making a profit. Obviously, then if they're making a profit, um, you know, we can achieve tax savings, reduce the tax liabilities. So that can be anything from someone earning 20, 30, 40, 50,000 up. I mean, I've done another video around when you should convert from sole trader to limited company. Um, so we can put that in the comments. Um, so that's historically been where, you know, our bread and butter is, as a business, Lesser & Co, where, you know, delivered fantastic results to clients and, um, you know, it's all based around that tax saving. Um, you know, additionally, if a business isn't making money, they might be, uh, they might have research and development expenditure. So that's another area we can offer fairly competitively if there's R and D involved, which is all to do with the advancement of science. So I can go into that a bit more another time. In terms of niches, you know, it's a bit of a buzzword niche. Um, we, I'd say we do have a few niches because inevitably what's happened is as a, as starting out as a general practice, you know, you get referrals and, and obviously we can do, we can do the work pretty much what we do. We can apply, you know, the tax knowledge and the business advice across many businesses. Um, but you know, in particular, the types of clients we've got, we've got property clients, construction clients, um, you know, tech businesses, professional services, and uh, we're also starting to get quite a lot of, um, you know, vegan, green, health, well-being clients. I guess it just um, reflects also, you know, the interests of the people we've got in our business and, and what they're into. And obviously, you know, you get business through your hobbies and your passions. So that's uh, where we're at in terms of, the, the types of clients that we're looking for. I think in terms of growth, you know, that's an important point as well, where a lot of our clients want to grow and we can help them. We can share our journey and, and, and our learnings. And, and obviously the other key point is pooling the knowledge across all of our client base and then, you know, redistributing that. And the other thing I've found particularly helpful is collaborating with other accountants. Um, so all this links in with being able to advise our clients and uh, you, you know the client will most likely have um, some staff if they're le then looking to, to grow and have additional advice from us so I hope that helps and speak soon thanks